All right, so here we are at St Mary's Church in Blidworth, um, where there have been some issues with the roof, which has uh, ultimately caused some problems to the plasterwork um, on the inside. Um, we have had some investigation work done and uh, it's transpired that a previous repair that was undertaken has failed and that's part of the problem here. So they are looking at replacing about five square metres of roof um, with a tile that fits this time as well. It seems that that might have been an issue. The guys who, got, who had to access the church um, had to do it using scaffolding um, to get along the roof. They used the south aisle and then they moved up onto the nave. Um, that's quite a difficult job because nowadays you can't really just work straight off ladders. So that is an expense that has to be thought about. And while they're up there, you want to make sure that they do as much work as possible to ensure the maintenance, basic maintenance works are carried out at the same time. And what we've discovered on further inspection is that an earlier repair, which was undertaken using some modern materials, a kind of silicon based mastic, uh, have failed. Um, you might expect those to, to have worked, but in reality, what you need in these sorts of situations is a light for light repair using the same and traditional techniques. Of course, some of those problems could be averted altogether and avoided altogether if you. Um, if you'd use the stitch in time approach, which ensures that gutters are cleared out regularly and annually um, to stop the build up of leaves and uh, moss, um, which will eventually cause you problems if you don't do that. Uh, especially in a surrounding like this, many, many churchyards are quite green spaces with mature trees, um, which yeah, can easily clog gutters and downpipes. And then those back up, the water overspills causes fairly serious damage to the um, interior finishes. In this case, we don't think there's any decorated plaster, but that it has still damaged traditional haired lime plaster, which is now having to be replaced by a um, plaster who knows what he's doing in a traditional way. The repair works have been carried out, have been done properly using the correct materials, in this case a tile that fits better than the tile that was on there. Uh, they should last for the long term, ensuring that the same problem doesn't reoccur. Of course they will still need to carry out regular maintenance, uh, checking their gutters and clearing those out as, wherever possible on an annual basis. The important thing for a lot of old buildings and churches are our oldest buildings in the community um, is to regularly maintain them and look after them. Uh, small amounts of work done at regular intervals will save you bigger bills in the long term. Uh, there's some very good guidance that's out there. There's also, for churches in particular, there are um, schemes that churches can buy into that ensure that they can have access to basic maintenance programmes like gutter clearing. Uh, of course, churches can access uh, expert advice from their church architect um, or from the local conservation sections of the council, county council or the local district council.